Hi everyone, I'm Vicki with Thrifty Recipes. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to make some sausage gravy, some biscuits, and some eggs, and we are going to have a wonderful country breakfast. I do want to give credit and a shout out to the Hillbilly Kitchen. If you haven't checked out the Hillbilly Kitchen YouTube channel, I highly recommend you check it out. But of course, I always put my little spin on it. So, I chose some Tennessee Pride Natural Country Sausage. I'll show you how I made the thrifty recipe sausage gravy and my little shortcuts. Let's get started. No MSG in this natural country sausage and it's the first time I'm making this with it and we'll see how it goes. So, basically, I have a large skillet on the stove. I did not spray it with anything. Now, my little shortcut I'm, um, <laughs> these are cheater biscuits, okay? Cheater biscuits. I simply picked up at Aldi some buttermilk jumbo flaky biscuits. It was an eight pack. Only cost, uh, oh goodness, what, 99 cents for the biscuits. By the way, the Tennessee Pride sausage uh, at Walmart cost $2.98. I know that can vary depending on where you live. So quite thrifty, not expensive at all. And so, uh, as I said, I'm cheating on the biscuits, but hey, you know, I don't have a lot of time, but we like to eat good, so there's my little tip for you. I sliced three sausage patties out of the roll. It's a 16-ounce roll of country sausage. I just wanted two for my husband, one for me, and I'm going to use the remaining sausage for the gravy. So I'm going to set the ends aside and most of the sausage aside and make these three sausage patties that I'm going to fry up in the skillet. As soon as you get the sausage patties in your skillet, I suggest you get your oven temperature started to heat up for the biscuits. I believe it was at 350 degrees because you're going to want to time this out so that the biscuits are ready when the gravy is ready. So I just fried the sausage patties until they were brown on both sides. I did flip them several times to make sure they were cooked through. I thought they looked pretty good so I took them off and put them on a paper plate with some paper towel and just set them aside as I said while I make the gravy. After I removed the sausage patties I just put the rest of the sausage in my skillet and just simply used a wooden spoon and broke it up and cooked it up and stirred it around quite a bit to make sure it was cooked thoroughly. The next few steps are very very easy. Um, after the uh, sausage was completely browned I left it in the skillet and I simply added my other ingredients. Now what are those? Pretty simple. All I added was first of all one fourth cup of flour. Any flour will do. I just used re regular all-purpose flour and I just stirred that flour in with the, with the uh, sausage, the ground sausage, to make sure everything was coated well and of course that everything was you know cooked through. That didn't take very long at all, just a couple of minutes. So basically you could say I'm making a roux by putting the flour with the sausage gravy and the sausage pieces. But anyway, that's pretty much what it looks like as you see here. And then I added two cups of whole milk and this is where you really have to keep an eye on things. You have to stir and stir and stir and loosen those bits of sausage that may have stuck to the bottom of the pan. That's where the good stuff is. So make sure you stir it really well do not walk away and leave your sausage gravy. This is not the time. And it's over medium heat, which was about three on my um, LG stove top, about a three to maybe a four setting, but not too high. I didn't want to scorch the milk, but the most important thing you can do is keep stirring. Add some salt and pepper if you'd like. I only added ground pepper. I decided not to add any salt at all. I figured the sausage still has salt in it and so we can add extra salt on our plates at the table. Stir and stir and stir and it will thicken up a lot faster than what you think. That's why I say don't walk away from it. It only took, oh goodness, probably no more than five minutes for this to thicken up. And, to, and remember, as it cools down when you take the pan, when you take the skillet off the stove, it is going to thicken up more. So you don't want to cook it until it's very thick you want to cook it to us, I guess, I don't know how to say it, moderately thick. And of course, one of the t things I forgot to mention is never, never, never add more flour. You never want to add flour after you've added the milk. That's what can create 
lumps in your flour. Have to have some eggs with breakfast. I, we like eggs over medium, so I've got a couple eggs in the skillet. Trying to coordinate the biscuits. I did put the biscuits in before I started the sausage gravy. I think that's important for timing. And you know, it didn't take long and breakfast is done. Get it plated up here and it's just absolutely delicious. We both loved it. We are excited to try some other brands of sausage. I noticed that Aldi the other day had two sausage brands that did not have MSG, so we'll be giving those a try. I will certainly be making sausage gravy over biscuits more often, and don't be afraid to do the cheater biscuits. Um, they're very good, and it makes breakfast a lot faster to make, and that's a good thing. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. I invite you to like, subscribe, ring that little bell to receive notifications on future videos. Check out my other videos on my channel, Thrifty Recipes. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Vicki with Thrifty Recipes.